drives home the idea of repeated zeros. All right. Now we can see that this one is obviously again it's going to be another polynomial raised to the power of four. Right? It's raised. So we can just want to factor this like it's a quadratic and then raise the powers. So if I look at this, I can see, well, what two numbers multiply give me a positive 1, add to give me a negative 2. And if this was a quadratic, x squared minus 2x plus 1, I would say my factors would be x minus 1 times x minus 1. Right? But the difference here is that they, are, they need to multiply to give me x to the 4, so I'm going to raise the powers. Right? And that's always simple as thing. Think of it as a quadratic, and then just raise the powers to match your, um, to match your function. Now, before I say, oh, the zeros are plus or minus 1, right? before I just say, oh, the zeros are the same, it's repeated, plus or minus 1, it might be helpful to kind of look at this in a linear factorization form. If I, if I was to continually factor this as a product of linear factors, I would get x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x plus 1, right? Difference of two squares for both of those. And what I want you guys to see is, does that now produce a repetition of the factors x plus 1 and x minus 1? Right? I have two x minus 1's. x minus 1 times x minus 1 is x minus 1 squared. x plus 1 times x plus 1 is x plus 1 squared. So what's happening here is my zeros are plus or minus 1 with a multiplicity equal to 2. Yeah. OK. So just be careful with that. All right. Make sure you guys can see. Remember, the definition of 0s 